Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. It has been a treat ever since March when I began doing these musical moments to find composers, and it's not been a problem, who have had a role to play with both organizations. Today, it is the Austrian composer Anton Bruckner, born in 1824, died in 1896. He was not only a composer, but an organist. He composed 11 symphonies. They are massive works. He also wrote motets and masses, and it is said that he, in his youth, practiced 12 hours a day. In 2012, we at Vocal Essence were honored when the German conductor Helmut Rilling came to do a concert of Bruckner's music. When I called Helmut and asked him to come and conduct and do Bruckner, he said, this is the first time anyone outside of my country has asked me to come and do Bruckner. They always ask me to do Bach or Handel, and I'm thrilled to do Bruckner. Bruckner wrote a number of massive pieces, but he also wrote some smaller pieces. One of the massive ones was a Te Deum, which Plymouth Church has done, and it's a grand, wonderful piece. He wrote it in 1881. I'm just gonna play a little bit in the last movement, the one that begins, in you, O Lord, I put my trust in te domine speravi. So here is how that last movement begins, and then the ending, which is like C major, followed by C major, followed by C major with the orchestra and the chorus fully engaged with grand hope. Music of Anton Bruckner. how he loves to just change key dramatically in the middle, not when you expect it. So here's the ending when they all go into C major. That's Bruckner. But it wasn't always with Bruckner that it had to be that forceful and triumphant. Here's a little bit of a piece he wrote that's on the text. Uh, the rod of Jesse has blossomed. Virga Jesse. Very beautiful. It does get big, but it begins very intimate. A cappella choir.
He also wrote a motet that is one of my favorites. He calls it a gradual. It's the text from the New Testament, Christ being obedient unto death, even death of the cross. Therefore, God has exalted him. It's an a cappella piece, which he composed in 1884. I'm going to play it at the beginning. You hear this beautiful introduction. And then the very ending, when it says, of course, in Latin, has given him a name which is above every name. And the wonderful way the voice leading from one part to another. It's a piece that choirs love to sing. Music of Bruckner. And then the ending of this piece, which begins triple forte and ends triple piano. Music of Anton Bruckner. Have a wonderful day.